Well, good Sunday, folks. A lot to talk about here at home as well as down in the tropics. That's really the bigger story, Hurricane Dorian. I'm meteorologist Eric Teller, Merrill's most accurate forecast. Do have a warm frontal boundary in the area. That's touching off a couple of passing showers this evening. Not looking at any severe weather today. We do have a chance of it as we get towards your Labor Day. Once again, not everybody will see these showers and thunderstorms, but a frontal boundary in the region that will be the lifting mechanism for those storms. Bigger story, of course, is Dorian. Look at the face of that storm. It really tells it all. It made landfall twice today in the Abacos Islands of the Bahamas. 95 miles east of Freeport, Grand Bahama Island, winds at 185, still a Category 5 hurricane. Hurricane warnings now in place along the A1A I-95 corridor from Melbourne, Cape Canaveral, down through Fort Pierce over to West Palm Beach and even out towards Fort Lauderdale, tropical storm watches in place. Sharp curve here as the storm starts to work its way off to the north, but more of a westerly progression now, so Florida is still in the mix. North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia would be up next as we get towards Wednesday into Thursday. And by Thursday, we could face some issues here in the Delmarva Peninsula. But in the near term, it's just passing showers and thunderstorms for Maryland as we get towards your Monday. Temperatures only topping out mid to upper 80s. We'll get sunshine back on Tuesday. We'll head towards 90. We'll keep that trend going until Wednesday. Cold front will come in. And that will be the difference maker on how much of effect that we see with Dorian at the coast. Tonight's forecast, upper 60s, lower 70s, a straight shower, a cloudy Labor Day Monday. Scattered storms, not everybody will see them, some of which could be strong. High temperatures, mid to upper 80s, depending on how much sunshine that we do see. 91 there on Wednesday, and then we're down into the 70s as the remnants of Dorian move in Thursday into Friday. Weekend looks A-OK -okay with highs right around 80 degrees. We'll have an update of your forecast on WMAR2 News. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to download our free mobile app at WMAR2 News, available at the Apple and Google Play Store. For now, have a safe and great rest of your Labor Day weekend.